Hey guys, as you probably know, the dev server for patch 1.39 in War Thunder went up this morning. I guess that technically depends on when I upload this video. So it went up on the morning of March 28th. Um, it's about 7 o'clock my time, and I did not get to go on it, unfortunately, because I pulled the all-nighter studying for a test I had that morning, and then when I got back to my dorm, I went to sleep, and I completely missed it but I did go on the forums afterwards and read a lot about what exactly was on it and what they changed, what all they kept the same, what all they improved and what they made worse so I feel I've got a general idea to give you a general overview of some things about the patch 1.39 uh, dev server. I'm going to get on the dev server eventually hopefully and uh, you guys will be the first ones to know, trust me, when I actually do manage to get on. And by the way, if, if you have some recommendations for me to test certain aircraft or whatever, just put, leave that in the comments and I'll test it out for you whenever I do manage to get in the dev server. But for the purposes of this video, I'm mainly just going to be talking about battle ratings and basically that's just what they did with the matchmaker and balance. And what I'm going to be doing is going through every nation and discussing the changes made to the individual planes battle ratings and whether they were good or bad changes in in my opinion at least and I guess I'll just get started the changes in the USA tree were to the F4U1A and F4U1D the F4U1A was moved down in battle rank uh, 0.3 and the F4U1D was moved down 0.4 and these planes are already widely considered uh, under tiered uh, that's with their current battle ratings and then Gaijin decided to move them down even further and this is around 3.0 and 3.3 just to give you an idea that's around the same battle rating as a BF-109 F-1 which is a 1941 plane or actually it's 1940 plane and the F-4U1A is a 1943 plane, and the F-4U1D is a 1944 plane. So that gives you an idea of just how, just how unbalanced that new battle rating was if the if the previous one wasn't bad enough already. And, but moving on, the next change was to the P-63 C-5 King Cobra, and that one was moved from 4.7 to 4.3. Now this change. While the the C5 isn't as as overpowered and overperforming as the A10, it it's still up there and it's still overperforming. It's still it's still under tiered even at 4.7 in my opinion. But moving it down to 4.3, it's definitely under tiered, and that's and this decision just perplexes me. I don't understand why they moved that one down, but didn't do anything with this one. Mainly just maybe it's just because people were complaining about this one and they seem to forget about the C5. I don't know, but that that new battle rating is also pretty perplexing, just like the Corsair. It's the 1944 plane, by the way. All these are, I believe, all the King Cobras are 1944. The A5 might might be slightly early. I, I'm not sure. I think they're all 1944, but they certainly deserve a higher battle rating than 4.3 and 3.7. Um, the next one is the Bearcat, the F F8F1A. And it's not the 1B. The the only one which that was changed was the 1, the 1A, and uh, that was moved from 6.0 to 5.7. And it, from what I'm hearing is the Bearcat flight model also got fixed, and that means that it's going to outrun, outclimb, and outturn pretty much everything in the game regarding props. <laughs> it's it is that good. It it it's not the fastest prop, but it is the best climber and it's among the best turn fighters. And if they actually gave it that performance that it deserves, it deserves a much higher battle rating than that. The only reason that this battle rating was okay before was because the plane was a brick. If you if you thought that the Germans were getting seal clubbed before by these things it's going to be bad, especially if they actually did move the Bearcat, the first Bearcat down in battle rating. It's going to be a seal club fest. Uh, that's all I can say. This is going to be game breaking if if they actually did change the flight model and correct it. Um, that seems to be about all the changes in America. 
Moving on to Germany. The F uh, the uh, BF109, E1, E3 and F1 all got lowered in battle rank. Uh the E1 0.4 to 2.3, the E3 0.3 to 2.7 and the F1 by 0.3 as well to 3.0. Um there that's that's a a uh, step in the right direction. I still think they're slightly, at least the E's are slightly under t over tiered even still, especially the E3. Um, that, that could that could fix a lot of the problems though. But I, but I was seeing these things in in games with uh, P63s before, so this these planes definitely needed uh, a fix regarding uh, battle rating because these were not re even remotely balanced before. But they might be slightly better now. However. The only problem is they also moved moved down planes like the Corsair to the level of these planes, so they're still going to be seeing planes that they shouldn't be seeing. Um, the BF109 K4 was also moved down 0.3 to 6.0, so that's a welcome change as well. Hopefully it won't be seeing as many F-80Cs. Um, yeah, so that a couple of the BF109s got better battle ratings. For Germany, the Focke Wolf line stayed the same, and the Mi two six two, among all the other German jets, are all the same. So you're still going to be facing F eighty six A's, F nine F five, and F nine F two Panthers, F eighty C's, all that jazz. You're still going to be seeing with your Heinkel one six two and your Mi two six two. So they didn't they didn't fix any of those. Uh, now moving on to the UK. Looks like the Hurricane Mark 1 was moved up to 2.0, and the Spitfire Mark 22 and 24 post-war Griffin engine Spitfires are at the battle rating of 5.3, which is the same as a BF109 G6, a late 1943 BF109, facing post-war Griffin engine Spitfires. This is just baffling to me. I don't understand <laughs> how on earth do you do you come up with that battle rating for a post-war Griffin engine Spitfire if these things have the correct flight model those are going to be flavor of the year a G6 has even with a good pilot a G6 stands absolutely no chance against the Spitfire Mark 22 and Mark 24 I really hope they change that because that, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, looks like everything else stayed the same, more or less. Alright, moving on to the USSR. The Chaiko has moved up in battle rating, that's a welcome change. Um, most of the lag stayed the same, except for the lag 335, it was moved down in battle rating. All of the lag 3s are all already, in case you were wondering, they're already under tiered. And now they decided to move down the lag 3 again one of them and uh, they also moved down th this is just this boggles my mind they moved down the LA-7 they moved down the MiG-3 and the MiG-3BK they moved down the Yak-9K both the Yak-3s the Yak-9U, Yak-9UT and Yak-9P all of those planes save maybe the Yak-9UT and Yak-9U were already tremendously under tiered. Um, the Yak 9K, I believe, is a 1944 plane. The Yak 9, Yak 3, 1944. Yak 3P, 1945. Yak 9P, 1946. These planes, the Yak 9P was, uh, it could it could stand to actually move up in battle rating by a little bit, but moving it down was definitely an odd decision. But the Yak 3. That that makes absolutely no sense. The Yak 9K that makes no sense. The Yak, the MiG-3 1941 plane moves down to the tier with biplanes. It's below the Chaika. The LA-7 1944 as well. At least it's higher than the Yak-3, but that that makes no sense. None. This right here is why people make claims of Russian bias, and I'm I've always been a defender of the guys in, in when it comes to claims of Russian bias because usually they're BS. Usually there's no there's 
there's no substance behind those claims because people are usually just raging that they got shot down by a Russian plane, so they, they want an excuse. But in this case, this would be under, not even not just understandable, but I think justified to, to make some claims of bias because you've got Yak 3s for the 4.0 battle rating. And if Gaijin. They, I mean, they were bad before. And now they're even worse. And if, Ga, if Gaijin was true to their word of. Of uh, well, I don't know if I, they actually officially announced this, but I've heard this from inside sources that in patch 1.39 they're going to be trying to give all planes a pl at least a placeholder amount of control stiffening so that every plane is more or less realistic and no planes have like glaring obvious advantages over other planes or disadvantages. And that's one reason why the Yak-3 and Yak-3P being under-tiered was somewhat acceptable because they actually had realistic flight models and a lot of other planes didn't and if you move them up in tier uh, there's a high probability of them not doing too well but if all other planes become at least pseudo realistic in patch 1.39 in patch 1.39 there is no excuse for a yak 3 being this low of tier as well as any of these other planes that got down tiered even some of the ones that stayed the same deserve to be bumped up in tier at least they didn't get down tiered but this this all of these decisions are perplexing to me. Besides, that's the one change they made, the Chaika. That's the one change that makes some sense. Um, yeah, it, it just doesn't make any sense. And that's what I'm saying. This is why Gaijin gets claims of Russian bias because they don't put any thought behind it. I don't, I don't care if the data says that the Russians are getting SEAL Club. If if they are, it's just bad players. These are good planes, and they don't deserve this low of battle rating. They these planes can definitely fend for themselves. I've flown these planes. I've flown against them. I can tell, can tell you that they're really good planes, even if other planes don't have realistic flight models. They don't deserve this low battle ratings. And a Yak three at a four point battle rating is game breaking. Um, A six M three for Japan moved down to four point That's more accurate. Um, I don't know what they've done to the flight model before. The A6M3 was the only realistic zero. It still rolled too fast at all speeds, in my opinion. The oh, not in my opinion. They they rolled too fast at all speeds. Um, the uh, none of the other zeros looks like got changed. But if they change the flight model for this thing to a more realistic roll rate, then that's that's definitely justified. Uh, the N1 case stayed the same. The KI61 moved up. So did the o the K sixty one Co moved up point three to three point oh. The Otsu moved up point three to three point three. It's closer to accurate. These planes are under tiered before, so that's a, a welcome change. Um K I eighty four Co was moved down to four point three. Uh if they fix the flight model it's fine where it was at, but it's a, <laughs> I think it's kinda useless on the the current server. I, I've heard that the KI-84 didn't really... the handling at least was relatively unchanged. It climbs better now, which is what I heard. Um, it, I don't know why, because it climbed fine before. It was pretty accurate regards to climb rate and speed. But, uh, as I said, the, the handling and the acceleration and takeoff run were the main things that were wrong with this plane. But they moved that down, so if if it if it still has the same flight model more or less, then it's more competitive now. The high moved up. That's the one with the 30 millimeter cannons. Um, that that looks to be about it. Those are all the battle rating changes in patch 1.39, and I hope you realize my point about guys in shooting themselves in the foot and providing no, they're not giving themselves any. They're not making the claims of Russian bias go away by doing stuff like this. I will still defend them, usually, in most cases, in regards to Russian bias, but this is not helping their case in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it Also, I, I, I really don't want people to say in the comments that this is the first iteration of the 1.39 dev server, so don't get too upset. This is something that should be updated weekly. 
Battle ratings are supposedly based on data that Gaijin gets live updates to. They should be at least updating these these battle ratings weekly, in my opinion. I, I don't think I should have to wait several months for every major patch just to have the game playable again. I, I really don't think that's, that's how it should be. But that's how it currently is, and I don't think any of these numbers are going to change significantly over the course of the dev server. Maybe they'll change some other things, but this is how it is now, and this is how I think it'll stay for the at least the remainder of the dev server. Oh, one thing I forgot, the F4Fs, the Wildcats, got moved to Tier 2, a uh, battle rating of 2.7, which is definitely a welcome improvement. Before they were facing I-15s and Nimrod biplanes, um, so that's... <laughs> no one believed me when I said these things are the biggest SEAL clovers ever currently in War Thunder. But yeah, that, that should fix it a little bit. Still think this should be higher, but that that's good for now. Uh, yep, yeah, so that, that's everything in regards to battle rating changes. Alright, moving on to the new flight models. Um, these are just the preliminary patch notes uh, for 1.37, uh, 1.39. Uh, I will link this in the description if you haven't already seen this. Uh, I will not be going to in depth into all of this. I'm just going to go over the flight model changes and what I already went over with the new battle ratings. Um, if you can hear that thunder and rain outside, that's uh, really loud. I don't know why it just started storming, but that's the weather here. Anyway, I'm not sure what the differences between these terminologies are exactly. The completely corrected, co corrected, adjusted, and preliminary corrected. I guess completely corrected is 100% or close to it, while everything else is just slightly lower or I'm not sure what preliminary corrected means at all. But anyway, these are the flight models that all got changed. The first one being for the USA, as I said before, the Bearcat, according to people on the forums and Gaijin. Uh, it got a completely correct flight model now. And this is an aircraft that will seal club if, if it actually truly is corrected. Um, especially since they lowered the battle rating of the first one. I don't... Yeah, I don't I don't see how a BF-109 G-10 or K-4 are supposed to compete with this thing now, if it is completely correct. Even before, I felt like these things were, were much better than, than the German planes, but now <laughs> they're, they're just going to wreak havoc. So, there's that. Um, the A6M2N got a completely correct flight model, A6M2 completely correct. A6M2 Mod 22, that's either a new plane or it's a typo. I think it's a typo. I think it's supposed to say A6 and 3. Uh, that was corrected. And A6 and 5 was adjusted, so I guess it's still a UFO. And KI 61 adjusted. KI 84 aircraft power plant errors fixed. Maybe that's regarding the RPM loss when you go into a dive. Maybe they fixed that. I thought that was just an error with um, the auto prop pitch settings, but. That may be what that's concerning, and the flight model was adjusted, so don't expect that to be 100% accurate just yet. KI-43-2, Hayabusa was completely corrected, according to the data sheets. Uh, for the USSR, the Yak-1B, Yak-9K, Yak-9T, and Yak-7B were changed. Yak-7B was completely corrected, according to Gaijin. We'll see about that. Uh, the Yak-1B through the Yak-9T were preliminary corrected. Again, I don't know what that means. UK Hurricane Mark 1 was completely corrected. Fury turn time and engine overheat. Uh, I don't fly the Fury much, so I didn't even realize it had an issue, but uh, moving on to Germany, flight model the BF-109 F-Series fix. I'm excited about that. I've long been a proponent that the F-Series was not maneuverable enough, so that's a welcome change if they really did fix that. Um, that looks like just about everything except a few points that I, I picked up from the forums. I heard that the Spitfire Mark 22, I'm not sure about the Mark 24, but the Mark 22 I heard is currently a brick. And by that, by that I mean it's too slow, doesn't climb, doesn't have WEP, when it definitely did in real life. Um, 
it it doesn't roll, it doesn't turn. I heard that the whole flight model is just completely off, and uh, it really concerns me because I've seen this in the past a lot. Some of these planes are listed here: the F-8F Bearcat and the the KI-84 were some of those planes that were released by the devs in an obviously unfinished state just to be released I guess just to give people more content even though it's it's not even finished content I don't know why people want people would want that I don't think people do want that but I don't see why they keep doing this to themselves Gaijin is just shooting themselves in the foot over and over again with these unfinished flight models and if there's someone in the administrative position making these calls on letting go of these flight models into the live server when they're obviously unfinished I, those, that person obviously doesn't deserve their job anymore because these these flight models like the KI-84, the Bearcat, they obviously weren't done. I don't think I've even seen a flight model developer ever say that they thought that the planes were done, but they were released anyway, and that just boggles my mind. You know, the thing is, they always complain about having too much work on their plate, and uh, by doing this, they're just shooting themselves in the foot more by adding more uh, urgent work to be done flight models to be finished and as I said it just boggles my mind how they keep falling back on the we have too much stuff to do excuse when they keep adding the content themselves um, but uh, yeah, that's a different discussion for a different video I guess I will cut this off before I go get into too big of a rant and uh, that's about all I had to say so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one